888-7753-773. Let's go to first-time caller out of Dover, Delaware, Luis. Luis. Luis, good morning, sir. Welcome to the show. Thanks for calling. Good morning. How you doing? All is welcome, Luis. How are you? Really great. Doing great. How did you hear about our show, Luis? Oh, I read your book, The Scam, a long time ago. And I seen your... I, I've i been listening to your show a lot. Okay. Uh, the uh, Fording State, everything. Right on. Well, welcome. Well, thank you. Yes, sir. The question, uh, well, it's not like a question, but I'm having a huge dilemma. I mean, I got my son listening to you, even my wife. Everybody likes it. But then we, I started having some problems. I heard a little blip at one point, like you uh, said, that Jesus was in God and all that. And I've been trying to listen uh, uh your theory of being born again and all that kind of thing. And uh, it seems like... Uh, I guess based on what you say, or the way you say it, you never study theology, but on your own way. And you say that God is in you, and you just need to listen to God, and you don't need to listen to the Bible, things like that. And I'm having an issue trying to understand how it is that I can learn about God on my own without reading a Bible, like... The Bible, uh, and I can't be quoting you scriptures. I got the scriptures in my head. It's like you do, or you, like I, I, I hear you saying that when you go and give a talk, you don't write this stuff ahead of time, and, and that's okay. You know, I mean, I mean, I like the way you talk and all that kind of stuff. But in my view, as me as a person, everything I, I know about God, I learned it from the Bible. And as I read and study I, that's how I learn about God. I don't know how a human being can learn from God without looking at the Bible, because there's so much stuff out here. Uh, everybody listens to God or, or talks about God in their own way. So I, I don't really know where you get your theory of being born again, because the Bible, even uh, when Jesus spoke to, I think it was Nicodemus, you, you'll be born again, you... You had to accept Jesus as your Savior, and you you disagree with that. I I don't uh, I quite don't get how you know or get your understanding of God and Jesus and all that without the Bible. But yet you use the Bible and you quote the Bible <laughs> in a lot of ways. Yeah, you know what I mean. I do, and I really appreciate you calling me and asking me about these things. Uh, first of all, I, 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 do, I don't believe that no man can be born again unless he go through the Son. You must, be, you must go through the Son of God in order to be born again, to return back to your original state of being. Um, <clears throat> so you have to believe in the Son in order to believe in the Father. Uh, secondly, uh, God said, let no man teach you because when someone teaches you, you both going to fall in a ditch. Um, um, we have inside of us, of all of us, there is the kingdom of heaven. And in that kingdom dwells God, his son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is our teacher. He, should, he is the only one who is allowed to teach us all things. Jesse, I understand that, and I'm listening to you, but where do you get that from if it's not from the Bible? You can't get that from yourself. I can't get it from myself. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Just hold on. Do not hang up, all right? I need to take a break. Don't hang up. Back in a moment. I have a first time a call of Lewis on the phone from uh, Delaware, Dover, Delaware. He is asking me some very interesting questions about the Bible. How do you know if you don't read the Bible and, and, and other things? Lewis, um, are you still there? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I read the Bible, but not to study and learn. You know, I open it up, I read a few things, I put it away, and I allow the Holy Spirit to reveal to me what I just read instead of listening to the deceiver in my head interpreting what I read. And so uh, uh, a big mistake that most people have made, Christians have made, concerning the Bible, 
They have gone to school. They have read the Bible. They read it two or three times and four times. And they have intellectually learned about God. And then Saint come and he interprets the Bible. And they, they think that that interpretation is from God, but when it's really from the deceiver. And so they have the knowledge of God, but they don't have the revelation of God. They don't know him because they trust the wrong voice. They, and so uh, they don't realize that inside of all of us is the kingdom of heaven, another reality. And it's, that, it's from that kingdom within that we're supposed to be living from, not the kingdom on the outside. But Jesse, the, this is the part that I have a little problem with. Well, not a little problem, a big problem, really. Because the Bible teaches us everywhere that inside of the man, there's no truth. And I learned that from the Bible. There's nothing that I know about God that I learned from somebody else but you, the Bible. You now, said that the Bible said, say, Louis, you said the Bible teaches you inside a man there is no truth? No, there's, uh, well, man is not good. Right. That's what the Bible teaches overall in general. I'm not going to quote you a verse. I don't have a notebook in front of me with little things. Uh, everything I'm talking to you, just like you, out of my head, out of what I know about the Bible. And what I'm saying to you is, when I study the Bible, I don't listen to what you say. Or, that's the reason why I'm calling you, because I'm not listening to what you say or what the other preacher told me. I listen and I read the Bible to find out what I know about God. I was an atheist before I came to God. And I came to God... Uh, not necessarily by revelation, by by someone preaching and God confronting me and and letting me know in my heart you're wrong, you're going the wrong way. This is not right what you're doing. And I didn't know anything about the Bible. Then I started reading the Bible and trying to understand and listen and learn all this stuff. I, it didn't come from me from inside myself. What you are saying, uh, and, and I've been listening to this on your show. And lately, you've been talking a lot about it. And I don't have anything against it. It's just helping me try to understand the theory, but which right. I still don't get. Because one part that Let I Let me ask you this before you go too far, and I'm going to give yeah, you enough time. Do you believe that the truth is already inside of us, or we have to put it in there by reading the Bible? When you say that, I do I believe that the truth is no, already No, I'm not saying in, that. I'm asking. That was a question. Do you believe that the truth is already inside of you? Yeah, but I want to verify the question you're asking me. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I know when you when people call you and you talk back and forth, uh, I notice a lot of people, they really don't know a whole lot about what they're talking about. When you ask me, do I believe that the truth is already inside me, what do you really mean by that? The kingdom of heaven. No, the kingdom of heaven is not inside me. I don't believe that. Why not? The Bible doesn't teach that to me. It, it does teach that. It says that the kingdom is within. So what is the kingdom? God's kingdom, God, the truth. So when the Bible says that all the intention of men is evil, No, no, let's incorrect. stay with that. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, that's a good question, but... No, no, Jesus, that's, is that incorrect? The no, Bible no, no, says that don't, the same... I know, but Lewis, 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 don't move too fast. Do I'm you, not moving fast, Jesse. Do you remember, do you remember Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is within? Uh, there's something to that effect that I have read, yes. And did you believe that? Again, if I don't know, if, if I don't go read that exactly to see what it is that I'm reading, I'm not going to be able to answer the question to you. But what I'm saying is I know, but the when same Jesus, Bible. When Jesus said, uh, and I believe it's in Luke somewhere, I'm not like, I can't remember the scripture. It's Luke. okay. Fine. But when Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is within, when you read that, did you believe that? Again, I had to go to the passage because every time that I understand and remember from my recollection of reading the Bible that Jesus said the kingdom of God is at hand or is here or is with you, he was referring to himself. Of course, I, it seems like you're probably not going to agree with that. And no. I cannot disargue <clears throat> the point without having the passage in front of me. So, Maybe James is looking it up or something, that, that's fine. But what I'm saying to you is, if you believe that... Do you remember the, reading that, though? When, when, yes, yes. And when, you, I, when, you, read exactly. it, when you read it, when mm -hmm. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is within, is at hand, is here and now, 
when he said it's within you, did, do you remember if you just kind of left that alone? Did, did you believe it or did you doubt that? I, I probably left it alone because I'm, I'm concentrating. But why would you leave that alone? If, huh? Why would you leave that alone? That's important to know. Well, the reason why I would leave it alone is because probably the concentration in my mind at the time that I was reading that. Oh, okay. It wasn't studying about the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. But what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying to you, Jesse. If you believe that portion that Jesus said, why won't you believe the other portion that says that the 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 man is bad in himself and no, you need God? Well, I do. I know for a fact that every human being heart is evil. I already know that. I believe so that, that without that, a doubt. How do you fix that? By by without the, Jesus. That's a very good question. The way you fix it is to recognize that your heart is evil so that you can repent. And once you repent, God draws you into the kingdom of heaven within because you believe the son who said that the heart is evil, that we need to repent. And the way that and you so repent I wouldn't is know that I would not know that unless Jesus reminded me of that. I believed Jesus when he said that. Well, but, but Jesse, you get that from the Bible, don't you? I first read it in the Bible, but the Bible did not no, cause wait, wait. me to believe that, though. Okay, Jesse, you read that from the Bible. So uh, this, this is the point I'm trying to make, and I'm not going to take your whole show, really. I'm not going to do that. Uh, the, if you believe that from the Bible, and you dwell in it, and you believe and you accept it, the Bible is like this. Everything that we read in the Bible, I understand it to be truth. You have made statements saying that the Bible has been translated and translated so many times. Isn't that, that true? It's not exactly like that. Isn't that true? No, sir. You don't I believe, have a book. You don't believe have, that the Bible has been translated from generation no, to generation? I don't believe that. But I don't and, believe and you that don't the believe that. Bible. Do you believe that it's possible that over a time that people who have translated the Bible translate it based on the time, on the culture, on how they saw it? That, that's, some of that, some of that is true, but do you also so believe... Then, no, stay with, I, and I understand. I'm staying with you. I'm okay, staying with you. So Jesse, if give you, me a minute. You said so that, So if right? you believe that, then there is a possibility that there are mistranslations in the Bible then, right? Yes. Okay. But here, here's my question to you. Based on that same part, and I'm staying with you right on the topic, I don't fly around back and forth. I don't do that, ever. So, if you believe that, that's fine. Now, do you believe that God is powerful enough to keep the Bible with the basic message that he wants for us? If the, if hold on, can hold on, the hold on, Bible, Lewis. Lewis, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. Very good call from Lewis. I'll take all of your calls, 888-77-JESSE, back in a moment. I am taking your phone calls at 888-77-53-773, 888-77-JESSE. I want to go quickly back to Lewis, a first-time caller out of Dover, Delaware, and he's asking me about some things concerning the Bible, what I believe, what I've said, and, and good questions. So, Lewis, you asked me if I thought that God was all powerful, that he could prevent men from mistranslating the Bible down through the generation. Am I right about that? Uh, not exactly, Jesse. Not exactly. Basically, what I'm saying is, yes, all those things have happened. I have a Bible in front of me that has eight different translations. I do a lot of that. And a lot of that thing has happened. But the thing about it is, I believe that the Bible has kept the basic message of the uh, saving of mankind intact. And there's a lot of stuff in the Bible that you really have to read here and there. Like, for instance, you read the King James Version, there's a group that they only believe in the King James. But the King James, uh, if you look at the data and all that, there's some things that have changed because of language and all that. So... I believe a lot of that stuff, but the essence of the Bible, the Bible teaches 
you're going to have to do this on your own, that the deity of Christ. That is a big, it, they've been fighting this, whether Jesus is God or not, since I, I studied like since 325, some guys uh, named Arius of Alexandria, all that stuff. The deity of Christ has been in, in fight for a long time. Right. This is not new. And you're right. And when because I heard you say that, I said, wait a minute, I have to check this out. And I've been hearing a lot of things. And the, also the issue of being born again, that you say you had to forgive your father uh, to to be born again and these things. That's not a basic principle of the Bible. So you cannot take one part of the Bible and believe that part and then not believe the other. The Bible teaches all the stuff that you're talking about being Christian, being born again, and following God. We get it out of the Bible, no place else. What are you, um, what is salvation? You Have you been born again? Yes. And what is born again? What is salvation? For me, being born again is coming to Christ and forgive and uh, uh, repenting from all your sins. Coming to you're going to ask me if I still sin, and okay. we're going to. I'm not going to spend the whole show arguing about that because I do believe that we still sin. So now, even though you've been born again, you're still sinning. Yeah, but I we I I don't have enough stuff in my head and time to get into that. And, and why do you fine. still we can sin? Argue, we can, why do we, you still we don't sin? Have to agree on that, Jesse. Lewis, why do you still sin if you've been born again and now you return to? Because I, I, my nature has not been changed. So you still you the same that. person. Uh, go ahead. You still the same person before no. you were born again. No, and neither are you 26 years ago. No, neither no, let me you. ask. No, no, no. You were a sinner that needed to be born again, right, from sin. Yes. But then you were born again, and once you were born again, you're still a sinner? Yes. So you have been born again then? Yes, I have. So how you how can you be born again from sin, but yet you're still a sinner? Do you believe in that? Uh, in, uh, no, no, the, no. Answer that for me, Lewis. I cannot answer you how. Because but, that's a lot of talk. And no, you, no, no. I mean, but does it make sense to you that what was the it purpose? Make sense to me. What was the purpose of repenting of your sins so you could be born again if you're still sinning? What was the purpose? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, see, I believe based on the Bible that I read and know that even though I repent for my sins and I, uh, I decide in my life that I'm not going to be going against God ever in my life, I'm still going to have faults. I, I don't believe that my nature is changed totally until I go to heaven, until I die. But the Bible that you're discussing says that um, no one who is born of God can sin again. You, you have to, we have to get into that text to deal with that back and forth. But why? It's simple. I mean, if it's said. It's not simple. It's you, not simple at all. If it was simple, I wasn't, I would not be talking to you. But do you believe the Bible? I do. And so when it says that if you're born again of God, you cannot sin, for well, sin is the nature of the devil. Do you believe that? Yes, he. No, no, no. Just answer that. Do you believe that? I'm going to answer that. Yes. I do so believe then, in that. then why well, do you still sin then? I believe I still do. I said, why, if you believe that about the Bible, because, because, why do you still sin? Because my carnal nature is, the Bible says in Corinthians that my carnal nature is fighting against my my spiritual nature. That's why you need to be born again, but it, it says so I that. I am born again. So once you're when born again, once Christ. you're born again, isn't it true that old things are passed away and all yes, things are new? Everything I did in my life is gone, and God forgave me from that. But the stuff I do from the day I was I was born again forward, I still there. So, you, so you're making the this up, though. I had, the fight that I had with my wife or with my friend, the argument, the injustice I did to my friend on a moment of slip, that's coming back, and it's there. And I can go back. Who told you that it's okay to sin? That, I mean, that is okay. I didn't Who say told it's okay you, to right? Sin. I changed that. Who told you that once you're born again of God, that you still the Bible. that you still sin? The Bible. Where's that? In the Bible. Where's that in the Bible? I we can't do this now, Jesse. I, yes, I, we I'm can. Just telling you. No, we can. Okay, Where is that? Not, we can do that. Where is that in the Bible? 
where it says, once you are born again of God, you can still sin. I'm going to hold you over. I want you to find that during the break. Let me know where in the Bible it says you can still sin once you are born again. Back in a moment. So, Lewis, did you find in the Bible where it says, once you are born again, you can still sin? No. And the Bible says that you cannot sin once you are born again. Do you believe that? No. You don't believe that. So you don't believe no. in the Bible then? I do. No, you don't. Why don't you believe that? It's in the Bible. Well, I don't believe that because if I, like, uh, you're going to say, uh, stick with this. Okay, can you stick with First John? No, 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 you're skipping. Tell me why well, you I'm don't not, believe that. No, this is within the same subject. Okay. In First John, it says that if you say you haven't sinned, you are a liar. But you're going to tell me that was in the past before you born again. I don't know how you can uh, figure that out. And that's the part that we have to, every little verse that we find. Here's the thing. You could find but a verse. Lewis, if I Lewis, you a verse. Lewis, Lewis. Okay, go ahead. Haven't is not the same as now. We all have, but I'm asking you, why don't you, so you, why don't you believe that? You say you believe in the Bible. Why do. don't you believe that once you're born again, you cannot sin? Why don't you accept that? Well, because I don't, I, based on my studies, like, you, see, you have. So is that study. a mistake in the Bible then? That's a mistake? No, it's not a mistake in the Bible. Then why don't you believe it? You then? and I understanding what he says. Why don't you I'm believe not it? I find it within myself. Lewis, Lewis, why don't yes. you believe it when it says you cannot sin once you're born again? Why don't you I believe, believe that? it? You said you don't believe that. I do. Oh, are you saying now you do? I'm saying that. Lewis, be I clear believe... with me. Do you believe that or not? Jesse. Jesse. Yes, sir. I'm an old man like you. You could put me in a box and keep me back and forth. And I'm trying to tell you that I believe what the Bible says by you, you and I. Old man. Don't, hold on, Jesse. Give, <laughs> give me a break now. Okay. I, I listen to your show, and I know how you operate, and I'm not here to fight with you. No, no, no. We're I, not fighting. I appreciate we're, you. Yeah, we're huh? fellowshipping. We're not fighting. Good. Let me ask Good. you this, Lewis. Um, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his nature remain in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. That's according to 1 John 3, 9. Uh, do you understand that? I do. Do you believe that? I do. Then why do you sin if you've been born again? Well, because I know that I sin. No, I said why. I asked why. Why? Because my nature... That's, uh, uh, it's not, doesn't allow me to go over that. And so, that verse... I, I can that, ask you this question. So, yes. the verse that says you cannot sin, um, what do you do with that? Jesse. No, answer that, then I'll let you ask me a question. You, I got my word. Okay, what do I, you do with that? What do I do with the text? Yeah, that says that you cannot sin once you're born uh, again. What That's do you, of, Lewis? What do you? How do you? What do you do with that? Uh, that's one text. That I, what I do with that text to answer your question directly, I try to understand what that text means out of all the others that I don't understand either in the Bible. It's, and, I understand that. That's a, that's a good response. I don't want to get stuck on whether I sin or don't sin. My body, my but, life... So do you question yourself, you know what, if this scripture is saying that once I'm born again, that I cannot sin, and I've gone to God and I repented, but I'm still sinning, what is wrong? What, is there something I'm missing? Do you question that at all? Well, uh, do I question that? I, I I don't question it because the way I see it, the perfection that God is asking me in the Bible, I have not been able to master that or get there. And why not? However, why not? However, let, me, let me finish my statement. However, everything in my being wants to please God and do God's will. You say you want I, to? 
Yes, I do. Okay. So why not question that? You know, and I believe you want to, too. I can tell that you want to. But why not question if God said that I need to be born again because I'm, I have sinned. And, and so I went to God. I repented. And I believe I'm born again, but yet I'm sinning. Why haven't you questioned that? I have. And, then and what, I do. And the Apostle Paul did too. And then, he said, oh, what should me? And I so when you question it, thing. when you question that, did anything come for you? No answers came at all? No. Okay. Well, at least question it, because if you seek the kingdom within, you'll find it. And then that, that question would be answered. Jesse, what is the kingdom within that you're talking about? God within us, the Father in us. We don't have the Father in us. But, but Christ the said we says do. We have Jesus in, in us. Now, don't tell me that you don't believe that because they changed it. The Bible says, Bible says that when you are born again, Jesus comes into your life into your heart, and he lives there. He dwells in you in the presence of the Holy Spirit. But look, and you know the Bible says that. We went over this already, and Jesus said, the kingdom, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is within you. Was he wrong when he said that? No, but it's But that's what I just said, and you said that's not true. But what kingdom of heaven are you referring to when you say that? What's, you said the, the Father. Which kingdom of heaven was Jesus referring to? The reality of God and His... That's what I just said. The reality of God. God in you. I think this is a matter of semantics here. No, no, it's not. It's not? Uh Okay, well... Uh, I love your show, and I and I enjoy. Uh, yes, I voted for Trump, and I, everything that I do has to do with how I see my Christianity. And the other side is completely against everything that I believe Louis, from the Bible. Louis, I can tell oh. you're a good man, and and I'm sure you have a good wife and a good son. Will you call me again? Yeah, if I had the time, I have to work very hard so that I can make it. I, I can't I understand live on the that. plan. That's right. <laughs> I have to work very hard to make it. But I'm glad that I was able to talk to you and, and deal with this. We, it, it, I wish I could drive to Los Angeles and sit there with you for hours. We'll be here running around this Bible for a while because that's you right. need to believe what the Bible says. Thank you, Lewis. I got to take a break. Thank you, buddy. Back in a moment, folks.